from what I understand, when we realize the reality of how good life is, when, when we see what God is going, going to, the, the states of happiness and joy and the setup mm. that God has, the things that are coming down the pike, you really can get into a mode where no longer is your primary sense of joy you're standing in the hierarchy, but you're just so overwhelmed at how great love is that you do just want to give it out, I, you know? I think it's really cool to, I hadn't thought about it before, that they were feeling that intense joy and it had to be no small sacrifice to give up whatever was going on in their lives. They probably had interesting lives, yeah. but they gave that up and traveled a long, long way, you know, to, to, to see this. Um, and they were feeling all that joy uh, on the basis of ideas. You know what I mean? Like they had symbolic ideas in yeah. their minds, but they were pretty big ideas about the fact that the human race was getting into a dark state, hmm. that, that God himself was gonna be born into this world to bring that love and truth into the world. And first it would appear as this truth like a star, and then it would grow and, and have this sort of human teacher, loving healer sort of presence. and and that that was eventually, it would take a long time, but that was eventually going to radically transform the state of our planet. It was really going to be a turning point. And so they, hey, and we're alive right now. We can go, you yeah. know. So it's pretty cool. Talk about your faith in action. No wonder that's what these guys mean, yeah. right? <laughs> because they've got a set of concepts in their minds, but they're so real to them and so true that they're willing to cross the, you know, huge part of the known world to go bring these symbolic gifts to this little child, you know? Yeah. They don't get to see him in, in action when he's 30 years old or something. He's just a little child. But they, get, they totally get it, like, this is awesome. Yeah, and this, this is very much something worth doing. This is huge, and we got to be here. We got to understand what this was. Yeah. We got to know what this moment was when the rest of the world is in darkness. They don't even know what's happening. And but we're here, we see what this is. And the amazing thing is, we're all going to have that moment or have mm. a series of moments like that. Because this, the nature of correspondences and the nature of the story about Jesus is that it's the path that we can all walk down. The so, story's not done. Yeah, so that we, the, you know, whatever insight it is, that whatever perception we get in our mind that makes us realize there's something over there that leads us on whatever journey to where we actually get to the, the Lord, you're going to have this same feeling. Mm. That they had it, but your version of it. Whew. When you get there, yeah, can you imagine? Really? Right, right. That's right. Okay, so that's the promise. Those are the correspondences. Crazy to think that you can even unpack the story about Jesus to kind of learn more about God. That's the promise of the Swedenborgian correspondence lens through which you can look at Scripture. Mm -hmm.